In this segment, I'm going to take a look at the backtrack and repeat options. And they're found here on the editing toolbar at the bottom of your workspace. Backtrack and repeat. And again, they're gray, which means I'll need to first select something to be able to use them. Now, um, for example, I'm going to choose a single run line. And I'm just going to digitize a line that starts here, travels up to the top of this triangle, and then down to the other side. And I hit enter. And so that's the, how this design sews. This, this object sews. Starts here, walks up to the top, walks back down to the bottom. Now, if I select that object, you'll notice that the tools became available. Backtrack and repeat. So, if I choose backtrack, what's going to happen is it's going to create a second object that is exactly the same. So, I'm going to go ahead and click it right now. And although you can't see anything here, on the screen, you can notice in the resequence dialog that there are now two objects that look exactly the same. Now the difference is, and I'm just going to move these two objects apart for a bit, just a little bit. So I used the um, backtrack feature to make this. And so the first object I made started sewing right here, walked up to the top of the triangle, and it finished sewing right here. Then the next object, because I used backtrack, is going to follow right along the same line. It's going to start here, up to the top of the triangle, and back to where it started again. And to reinforce that, if I turn the visualizer off, you can see here, there's where my object started. There's the trail thread coming from hoop center to here. It walks up to there, down to here, then it jumps to the beginning of this one, and walks up to here and back over to here. And this little square inside of a square, that represents the current needle position. This is where my needle is right now. Now the other option was repeat. And so for example, if I select um, this, uh, I'll select this second object right here. And this time I'm going to choose the repeat tool. And again, it makes another triangle that's exactly on top of the previous one. However, this time, it repeated the exact sewing order. And I'm going to, again, break it apart and move it down. So what you can see now is, there's the first triangle I digitized. It started on the left, walked up to the top, and down to the right. And the second triangle that we used with the backtrack started at the left, started at the right, I should say, starts on the right, up to the top, and finished on the left. Now the third triangle we used with the repeat option and the repeat option basically starts again on the right up to the top and down to the bottom on the left. And so the reason I can see that is because here when I was at the end of the first triangle there's where my needle was and it had to jump back over to the beginning to, to repeat the exact same object. So basically backtrack will follow along the line going backwards from the ending to the beginning versus repeat, which will give you a duplicate of the object starting right at the beginning again. So I'm not sure I made that completely clear. Control A, whoops, cancel that. Uh, I'm gonna go Control A and delete. And we'll just make a line. And I'll make my line so sort of in a circle, but not quite. Not a circle, but sort of a closed shape. So it starts here, and it walks to here, to here, to here, and to here. Now, if I select that and choose repeat, it does the whole thing over again. See, if I move it over, well, where can I put it where you can't see it? Here, the first one started here, walked here, 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 to this ending point. And then the new one that I created starts in exactly the same place and ends in exactly the same place. So that's the repeat function, as opposed to the backtrack function, which will go from the ending point back to the beginning again. And so those are the two options, repeat and backtrack. And they can be very helpful, especially when you're designing um, line stitch type designs and they, you have um, the need to travel back to the beginning or forward again to repeat or backtrack the exact same stitches that you've already created the first time.